more people watch your videos, the more YouTube is likely to surface them in their search or recommendation features. YouTube explains further. When we suggest videos, we focus on those that increase the amount of time that the viewer will spend watching videos on YouTube, not only on the next view, but also successive views thereafter. That's a lot of pressure. You not only have to attract viewers to watch your videos, but you're supposed to attract the kind of viewers who will keep watching after they're done with your channel. Here are some ideas to increase watch time in your channel, and ultimately to appear more frequently in search and recommendation results. Number one, start with an awesome intro. The first step is to hook your audience. Grab their attention in a flash. That's what Google itself preaches too. The first 15 seconds are your saving grace to make it happen. By using the meatier parts of your video initially, your audience is more likely to be glued to your content and continue to watch. Deliver on the promise. For visitors who stumble upon your video seeing only the title and thumbnail, make sure to provide at least some of what they expect in the beginning. Number 2. Break the video into chapters. Like chapters in books, YouTube's chapters make things easier for viewers to better understand what will come next. Think about how to break your videos into segments. Each chapter should have a compelling intro moment followed by an intriguing narrative. Outlines can be useful in this process. Number 3. Include Pattern Interrupt Whether your viewers stick around or leave in droves boils down to one thing. Engagement. Interrupting patterns makes that more likely. When similar images and narratives repeat, people get bored and the bounce rate climbs. But pattern interruptions can seize viewers' attention for the long game. A pattern interruption can be a frequent camera angle change, b-roll, or on-screen graphics. Number 4. Do keyword research. You can't escape the value of keywords just because it's a video. As you develop content ideas, make sure to do simple keyword research specifically for YouTube the second largest search engine in the world. Head over to a tool like Keyword Tool and type a topic related to your niche to understand its search interests. Alternatively, you can do a competitive analysis. Research your top five to seven competitors and see what they're doing on YouTube, from their tags and keywords to the content they deliver. Read the comments under their videos. Number five, tell stories. Storytelling works for viewers who want to be entertained and those who want to learn. Explore how to convey your story in a unique and interesting way that your viewers will appreciate. Here's a tip. No matter how long the video, think of it as a story both in the narrative and on-camera presentation. Number 6. Collaborate. Partner with like-minded people who share a similar vision and purpose as your brand tell their stories. By working together, you can draw in viewers who normally watch your partner's video channels, expand your audience, and increase your view time. Tip. Treat these partnerships as collaborations, not influencer marketing. The latter is all about getting eyeballs on a product or service. Guest collaborations are more likely to create a feeling of shared values or feel authentic. Number 7. Create longer videos. A shorter video needs a bigger viewership to get the same total watch time as a longer video with fewer viewers. If you publish longer videos, you can make them more targeted to your niche audience and still get a watch time that YouTube's algorithm likes. Tip: Think about how to extend some of your existing but underperforming short videos. Once you publish the longer video, make those short videos private or delete them altogether. Number 8. Use YouTube Analytics. Examining your YouTube analytics lets you get an awesome insight into both the micro and macro views of your videos in your channel. You can see viewership in days, times, etc. You can also see data on the videos themselves. Of particular interest should be the drop-off times. Then you can go back and see the content around those timestamps to assess what might not be working. You can take that information to revise those videos and to improve future videos. Increase your viewers' watch time. Enhancing your watch time is a surefire way to become more attractive to YouTube's algorithm. As a result, your videos are more likely to surface in recommendations and search results. It may take some time to implement everything, but you should start to see a healthy spike when you work on them one by one.